Hi, Monica. Someone joined you. Who is this? Hello Rajesh. Hello Pooja. Hello sir. Hi. Hi Monica. Hi. Yes. Hello. Hi Singh. Hey. Uh, who is this? AD Singh. That's is this new uh, one? That's me, Ashish. Hey Ashish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi. How are you guys doing? Good? Okay. Good. Perfect. Good. Uh, that uh, is uh, something new. That's why I am. <laughs> Let's wait for the okay. Okay, Ram joined and uh, who else? Okay, that's all. Okay, let's start. <clears throat> okay, um, what we have done uh, in last class? 
what we discussed? Uh, we have done uh, some joints uh, using a huge class and then a little bit about the sequence mm. and then a um, little bit about the synonym. We just, uh, just get some uh, details. I mean, like a, some theory and sequence and uh, synonym, but we haven't done any uh, that much practice on it. Cool. Let's work on uh, sequences today. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I have a, one question on joints. Like, uh, right. let's say uh, we have a table A and table B, and I have to uh, join that, but I don't mm -hmm. know uh, uh, what are the matching column between those two tables. So, you know, like, let's say table A has a, a 20 columns and table B has a 25 columns, and they have a, like lots of, uh, let's, lots of uh, records, and the column name is also different. So I have to join it, right? So I cannot go uh, check all attributes value. So is there any way that, uh, like any syntax that uh, we uh, type that syntax and we we know that, okay, now from table A and fr from table B, they have uh, some column are matching. See, that's the thing is, right? Uh, unfortunately, we can't check that way actually, but column names may be different, not a problem. Mm -hmm. For example, table A, um, so for example, employee table, we have a department number, DPT number, in department table, may it may have department number, department and score number, something else, a different name will be there. Right. But the logically, the value is related to department number. Then only you can match that one. You can join that one. Otherwise, you cannot. Yeah, and uh, is there any way that we can find like, okay, uh, from this table, this column is matched with this table? No, we cannot, we cannot see that. Maybe you can, you can, you can check one thing, yeah. Uh, one way is there actually with the case. So no, there is a a pre dictionary tables, right? And you can go on dictionary tables. It's the only this only one uh, only one possibility. Mm -hmm. If you go there and all underscore constraints, all underscore constraints table. Uh, can can you show your uh, screen so we can see? db underscore constraints, r underscore constraints, these type of things will be there always, right? This is the only way you can find it. Okay, there. Oh, not equal to, sorry. Let's see here. So these are the tables we have in under SCART actually, okay? Mm -hmm. and. We see here the constraint type equal to R. Okay. R means referential integrity constraint. Okay. But the column name is the constraint name is this one. On table, this one, this employee table. And uh, PK, it's referring to PK, primary key, it's referring to PK underscore DEPT. That means department table DEPT. Okay. If you want to know the column name, there is another table. So see here, all underscore cons underscore columns, right? Okay, now where uh, constraint name equal to fk underscore emp this is what we created right mm -hmm. okay i don't think this is not correct actually let me see but okay. uh you, you understood what, what was my question right mm -hmm. okay. see here so it is referring to employee table department number this is the foreign key when you go to pk underscore dept So see here, card table DEBT and department number. This is the primary key column. This is the only way you can find it. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll, I will try to find it. Yeah. Okay. Only way, I mean, the matching column, matching column, you can, you can go and check in constraints. If you know the RNG constraint, you can come to know what is the what is the primary key for that actually. Okay. okay. And so if you see here, 
this is constraint name right constraint name mm -hmm. this constraint name referring to referential uh, reference uh, one more constraint name will be there here okay so see here primary key index name pk this is pk uh, this one you want r constraint name okay r constraint name and constraint name these two will tell you which is the foreign key which is uh, which is primary key okay, okay? based okay. on that you can check it okay and then primary key uh, it shows us p and uh, for foreign key it's it shows us uh, like reference, refer, r underscore constraint name is always primary key okay okay, okay. Perfect. perfect i mean that means reference uh, uh, the reference key that is reference key right it is referring yeah. to that key okay right in the constraint of actual constraint the actual constraint referring to this constraint mm -hmm. okay constraint name and uh, constraint name and r r underscore constraint and these two will tell you got it okay Perfect. yeah thank you okay now uh, one, I one want question to here mm -hmm. so for for example if we did, did not uh, add any constraints and if we have the same columns then this is showing only the constraints right even though you can match it if you have the same columns we even if you don't have constraint name also we can do that match it okay okay yeah. you can match it even we don't have constraint also but columns are there reference columns are there then you can match it okay, okay? but that is not accurate clear yes So I want to test this one now. Prop sequence, sequence name. And then I am creating, now I'm dropping existing one I'm dropping and then recreating, I'm recreating again, okay. Now I'm creating, I want to test this one now, okay? For that one, I want to, um, um, to testing purpose, I'll create a table, create table, uh, sequence test, okay? Sequence, sequence test, okay? Uh, sequence test ID, Number, comma, name. See, name. okay. Just I'm, I'm, I'm giving like this actually. Okay, where two of twenty. Okay, mommy got. Okay, I'm creating a table now. Now I want uh, to, I want to insert the data with sequence number, okay? With sequence number, uh, insert into table. What is the table? Sequence uh, values values. I want the primary key on this table. Okay, don't want alter the alter table and the constraint 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 pk underscore pk underscore primary primary key um okay i'm adding primary key here and then just say i'm adding sequence here actually what is the sequence number i want uh, that sequence sequence number directly i'm using here sequence and name is some t1 okay and again, name 
sequence that sequence directly will execute or a select where we need to write here procedure will, will will work actually but we have to see how it works i didn't try try but i will try here now and the commit okay see here uh, okay that's the problem is we, we didn't create the table actually Table created and uh, I have created foreign key, primary key. Yeah, it's allowing. Okay, and then I'm giving another two records, two to three records. Now I'm I want to see that. See here, select star from. See here, we got uh, data right. So you know, you know. Now it's inserting the data, right? Just I want to see what is the current value of current current sequence value. Okay, what you want, what you are, what we are expecting here when you run this one. Current value. What is the current sequence number? Three. Three is the current sequence number because we executed the sequence executed three times. That's the reason that the number is three. When you execute four again next time, automatically increasing it. It will increase automatically, right? So see here, the three is coming. When you execute next val, automatically it shows the four number four, right? Okay, this is one way to insert the data. Okay, sequence by using sequence, and another way is okay. Default value is in sequence here directly. Okay, so now see here. Now I'm not I'm not inserting the ID ID value ID column here actually okay sequence tested I'm not inserting here actually okay so I set to default value and then I'm uh, I'm creating a new table actually this is a new table I'm creating new table now table created and I added the uh, primary key on this one and I'm executing this one now not enough values okay. Dalo actually, but just I want to check that. See here, it's allowing and Actually, if, if if it is not inserting any data in the table, null values it null values because it's a primary key, right? It will not allow null values and null values and uh, duplicate values, right? So that's the reason. Just I am not inserting any data any any data for sequence ID. But where we where we are getting the value? But we are getting the value, right? See here, four, five, six. That means Sequence continuation. First three records we have in first first table, and four, five, six we have in second table. Due to the default value, right? You don't need to enter the value for that actually. Just simply you can enter name directly. It will insert the data. So, uh, uh, these two are different table, right? Two different tables, yes. Two different so, tables and two different methods are inserted the sequence here. But in both, you you put T one, T two, T three, and uh -huh. then uh, one has uh, one, two, three, and a second table has a four, five, six. So it, right. It, uh, why is that? Because it's both two yeah, different. Sequence, sequence, same sequence we are using here, right? 
in the first table also we are equipping, we, uh, we are using sequence and uh, uh, cq underscore transaction id here also we are using sequence the same sequence okay so whatever sequence. what whatever sequence name we use it will continue mm. with that continue with the number actually right it will not reset when we are using two different tables so that same sequence mm -hmm. it will not reset back to one actually okay oh, okay Continue. Uh, sequence will continue until uh, that uh, certain point to reach. Right? Yeah. Understood. Clear, guys. Any question here? Okay. So this this is about sequence actually. So you can you can you no need to enter the data for that sequence always. That is we can do. But you can do one more one more method also. That method is you can create a trigger on that actually. In on this table directly, you can trigger. When you create trigger, automatically it will trigger. When you try to insert some data, automatically it will trigger and then insert that sequence actually in the database. You don't need to enter at that time also. Okay. Clear, guys. This is about sequences. And then we created uh, synonyms yesterday, right? We created synonym yesterday. Again, I'm uh, yesterday some some people missed, right? I will explain again here. Synonym is uh, this is alternative for the table name, okay? So end 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 user cannot see the original table name, and you can you can use you can use that uh, synonym to see the data, okay? <clears throat> Let me drop the synonym. Drop. You don't need to drop. Actually, we can. We are using the um, create or replace. So that if it, if it exists, uh, we can create again. The, um, it will replace with the new a new a new one always, right? And uh, drop synonym. Synonym name. You understand what I'm saying here? Um, so drop synonym and drop it and then create it again, right? Now, if you see here, I, I'm not using table name here. I'm using synonym here, okay? Okay, now this is the thing, right? So synonyms are, uh, say we have synonyms, right? Synonyms are two types actually. One is public synonyms and private synonyms. Public synonyms, uh, the, this is private synonym actually, okay? When you want to create public synonym, that can be accessible to everyone actually, okay? For example, um, all underscore all underscore uh, tables I shown you all underscore constraints, right? This is this is nothing but a synonym. This is the, this is one synonym. For that, main table is db underscore constraints. Okay, clear, guys. Don't get confused here. Okay. See here, this is all underscore constraints, right? So I am writing a query. DB underscore constraints. Here, here it is accessible because I gave the privilege there to this guy, this guy, um, admin admin access actually. That's the reason it's connecting. Okay, let me revoke. Revoke DB from spot. DBA. I gave to him that select DBA. And, and okay. yeah, rework. We revoked here, and my he might have select catalog privileges actually. Okay, you might have select catalog privileges. Uh, I think we need to revoke select catalog. Let me see if I can. Okay, this is system, right? Okay, fine, I got it. I need to connect from here. Oh my god. Okay. 
DBA not granted, but it is saying okay. I'm not even to remember the role actually. I will check and then come back to you on this one actually. So ideally, we'll not have uh, all the users will not have this access actually. For, okay. Let me see if I can check somewhere else actually. Let me see. Ah, see here. So this guy doesn't have access actually. Okay. DB access, he doesn't have access, right? So when you go and check, uh, select star from, select star from all underscore constraints. Constraint, see here, public dot all constraint, it is showing here, right? See here, public underscore all constraint. This is called synonyms. This is a public synonym. See here? Okay, yes. guys, don't get confused. Public synonym means it can be accessible for everyone actually. Okay, so while creating the public synonym, you have to use create or replace public public keyword. There is a keyword called public public synonym, and then for which table we are we want to give that one. That's what you have to do that. Okay, clear? Any questions? Private synonym, you private synonyms, you don't need to give any keywords here. But you are if you want to give public synonym, you have to give public public synonym. This is what? See here. You can write this way. R it's not allowing actually. But ideally, this is a public dot synonym name actually. It can be accessible for everyone. Okay. So I am giving here, I am removing this one. Really, public synonyms will not create. Okay. Very rare, we will create public synonyms. And you can see uh, which type of synonym it is actually. You can go here, select star from all underscore synonyms. All underscore synonyms. You see here where owner equal to. These are all data dictionary tables. Okay. See here. Are you able to see? Yes. Okay. The, this is about synonyms actually. Synonyms, just sure. for uh, understanding purpose, I'm saying, but uh, usage is very less from our side. Okay? okay. Very so, rare case we'll create uh, synonyms here. What is that ori uh, origin uh, constraint ID one? That is uh, uh, columns actually, DBA columns actually, predefined columns. Okay? okay. Column ID. That is called, uh, how many records we are having that uh, automatically uh, auto sequence kind of thing, that one actually. All right. Okay. So in real time environment, how often we have to use this synonym? Sorry? In like in our working uh, environment, how often we use it, synonyms? Very rare, very rare. Okay. See, synonyms are very rare. Okay. So next, um, so we now we know about the views, right? Views we have to talk about views actually. Okay. So views are two types actually. Um, view is nothing but a um, I mean, a virtual table, 
that can have uh, that that will be based on uh, based on base tables always right so for example employee table we have 100 columns but i want to show only uh, i want to give access to only 10 columns or 5 columns okay that time i can give uh, I, I can give a uh, synonym uh, sorry view on that and then i give the access to the end user so if i give that one he can be accessible only four or five columns only whatever i gave that that is only that is only okay so let me tell you create Data replace a view and then view the view underscore empire. Select EMP number and name from EMP where PPT number for the content. Now I created a view, but employee table we have multiple columns, right? Okay. See here how many columns we have? Eight columns we have, right? But I gave access to this view only two columns. That is also only department number 20. 20 of the department data only I'm giving the access, right? When I execute this one view, see here. Only employee number and employee name we have, no nothing else, right? Guys, any questions? And these all records uh, related to uh, department number twenty. Yes, these all the card regard cards. For example, I'm 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 giving department name uh, department number also DEPT number also, okay. I created, recreated the view. And see here, the department is showing here, right? Clear? Yes. So here, views are two types, actually. One is simple views and another one is complex views, right? So simple views, simple views are always depends on one table, one base table, OK? When you, have, when you are trying to join multiple tables, that, 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 that view called as um, complex view okay so let me create this is a simple view whatever i created the simple view because we have base table is one only employee is, um, this is called base table right so we have only one base table here that's the reason this is a simple view right now i'm creating complex view so select query you have to change the select query only you are not going to do anything else okay employee e join DPT D on E dot DPT number equal to E D dot DPT DPT number and this is uh, E dot employee. And I want E dot employee number D, D dot DPT, sorry, D name. Okay. So I'm getting data from employee table, employee, uh, employee number and E name and department, department number from employee table and D name, D and D dot D dot D name equal D dot D dot D, D name is coming from department table. Okay. Two different tables, I'm getting the data, right? When you execute this query, we'll get some data, right? We got data, we got data here, right? So same way, on this query, I'm creating a view now. This is, this is um, view, 
one underscore one I am giving here one just okay. Now see here, this is the view one view, and second view is. here guys understand or not this is complex view complex can this can write a number number of lines of code we can write here we can create a number n number of tables we can join here and then we can write the query and then i show the data to the users actually okay right and use for example uh, if you want to show some data from application side, they don't want uh, they don't they don't want processes or functions kind of thing. Then we can write simply the view one view and then give give to them actually. When they call the uh, call the view automatically, the data will come. And make sure you have to remember this view will not uh, store in the database. It will not store any data for this one. You will not have any memory for this one actually. Just to, View structure will be view structure will be stored in the database. That, that's all, right? Clear, guys? I hope you guys understand. This is simple view. Simple view, and this is complex view. Complex. Okay. And now. And we can insert the data in. We can insert the data in views also. That is one thing. And uh, and one thing I want to tell you here. So, for example, we don't have table, right? If you don't have table, without table, we can create a view. Okay. I, I in my previous class I explained about how how it is. What is the keyword we are we are, we'll use extra for this to uh, to create a view without a table? Of course. Force, yeah. If you, if you use force command, you can you, you can create a, you can create a view without a table. Then we can create once we create a, a table that that will be active again, right? Yes. Create our is view empty two. Here I don't have apply to table. Uh, what is this? Oh, keyword is missing. I don't have apply table. I am trying to create it. It is say what it's saying. Table or table or view does not exist. But if I create force view, right? It allows. But it is saying warning, right? View created with compilation errors. See here. Okay, when I create a table, create table EMP2 as a let set star from EMP. Now I created the table, right? So if you go here and then see. System, where is cart? Here is the cart. Okay. See here, the view is invalid, right? Here it is saying into mark here, right? Simply you can go here, uh, uh, compile. There is a compile option here, right? You can compile it automatically. Okay. Guys. This is the this is the uh, this is the syntax for that actually. Alter alter view. See here, alter view. Start dot view view name. Start means schema name dot view name compile. Now it's compiled right. Now see here. Gone. Right. Yes. 
so this is about views okay you can uh, you can work on more then you can understand more on this one views actually okay uh, actually we also have one uh, materialized view right you know yes 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 next up oh. and uh, so union union we didn't we, we didn't work on union and union all right no see here select are from employee union are from emp2 okay this is a this is a single query here observe here how many records we are having here 14 records right but in employee table we have Employee table we have seven, fourteen records. Employee two we have fourteen records, right? Right, guys? Yes. But it's yes. showing only fourteen records. See here, how many records we are getting? Union all. Twenty-eight records. Got it. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between union and union all now? Union only shows us uh, matching record. Or union all shows us, or, or I mean, like no. a duplicate record. Union, union is eliminate the duplicates. Yeah. Union all will not eliminate the duplicates. As is, what are the records we are having in the set that will display completely? That's all. Okay. Clear, guys. Yes. This is the main difference between union and union all. And what is the difference between union and joints? Sorry? What is the difference between uh, union and joints? Union and joints. Yes. Good question. So, for example, employee table, the similar structures should be similar actually. For example, same kind of data. Employee number, employee number, employee name, employee name. In this table and in this table. You cannot uh, make it as union with the employee number, employee table, and department table here. Yeah. Got it? And union and union also are combined the data. Just, ju just display as is. You don't have any logic will be there. No matching, no nothing. Nothing, uh, nothing will be there actually. So when joins will join the data and then get that some data from other tables also. For example, union, what it is saying, just simply employee structure data. Employee to structure data is matching, matching with the row, uh, same columns. For example, see here, I'll, I'll tell the example here. Here I am I'm, 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 I'm fetching on employee number and um, e name. And this one down below, EMP number, comma e name, comma salary. Three, it, both are in employee table, employee and employee two tables. We have co columns actually. But the structure, the structure should be same on top and uh, down below. See here, when I execute this, we will get error. Query block has incorrect number of results columns. How many columns we are having? Three columns here. We, are, we should have three columns here. That's all. Right? And it will, join, it, it, it will combine the data. That's all. It will not join and then it will not get the data from other, other data. For example, on top employee name, and down the department name will not, it, it will not come like that actually. So uh, attribute name also uh, must be same. Must be same, yes. Okay. So and and where we use the union like because uh, union uh, means when you when you want to combine the result sets actually. For example, uh, in procedure sometimes you need to use um, based on requirement we'll use that union and union also. Okay, above query we have to combine. Maybe different different sets of employee tables will be there, and I need to come. I need to get, for example, I'll let me tell you here. Um, consider Walmart. Walmart, each branch, some employees there will some 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 day, consider transactional data, transactional data by a daily basis. Okay, and each branch will have some data, right? For example, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 places we have data, and then we need to combine end of the day. Okay, end of the day, each 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 table will each branch will have some data, right? 
we need to combine this and maybe it's not a good example but uh, this understand this logic understand it just we need to combine and then slow, load it into somewhere else as so one server kind of thing actually the branch one data branch two data structure will be always same and branch one branch two branch three structure is always same but data will be different one branch customer is different uh, transaction data is different and another branch uh, transaction data is different by end of the day you need to combine the transaction uh, and the branch one table data and the branch two table data that time we'll combine it and then push it into the server table some main table understand or not so instead of a union we cannot use a join over there how can you use join because we are not, we are just we are adding the data appending the data that that branch data and this branch data are appending okay. and then push into the table that's all we are doing cool. we are not joining and then joining purpose is completely different clear let me tell you so basically uh, we use wait, union wait, wait, like wait, 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 don't get confused here. this is the one table one employee table we have data okay join is common column there is a there is a common column between this table and another table actually so do we have any department name here abdullah no. do we have any department name here no no no, no. but i want to show department name here okay department name is in another table here is the department name right but depart then we have to find what is the common name common name common column name in this one employee table and department table there is a department number there is a common common column right department number yes yeah. yeah so i need employee number e name dept number this is employee employee dept number okay and from d to department table i need d name dela clear or not yes sir yeah dept d on <clears throat> be here that means we are getting data some some other information missing information we are getting from other table by joining by joining with the table right this this is the difference so if you go with see here you here branch one branch one employee data branch two employee data just columns are same just appending the data into one one little set that's all we are doing here okay so basically join use i mean uh, join uh, give us uh, uh, adding column right join uh, add the columns and union so add the record data, additional information to that uh, existing data okay okay you can get because not all normalized tables how it will be right some data will have in some place and some information will have some other table this is a maintenance purpose maintenance is easy maintenance is very easy so for example one table we can have 200 250 columns we can maintain it but that is read up uh, uh, there is issue with uh, reading right while reading the columns each 250 columns we need to read means it will take time time for us right for that one what we will do we will split into multiple tables actually for example uh, consider as employee employee department everything we can combine into and put into one table actually but here some maybe if we have this 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 table have 100 and and i mean employee have 100 record 100 uh, columns and department have 100 columns 200 columns right the table the t- table the table is very lengthy right there so we have to we, we read, maybe we can miss it something here right so that's the reason we split into multiple tables and the key column will maintain in one table that key will refer to the other table here key is department number clear abdullah
I hope you understand. Practice it. Then we can. Then, then uh, still you have questions. Just ask me. Uh, one quick question. Like, if there is a requirement, we have to we have to check the table A and table B are synced or not. So at the time we use union, right? Sorry. Like there's a requirement. Let's say uh, we have to check uh, table A and table B. Uh, they both are synced or not. So at that time we use union, not right? Really, not really. Not really. So okay. actually, what will happen, right? Table A, table B, table B, table C will be there actually. Okay. Table C is always table A plus table B. Consider this one actually. Okay. Yes. Table C is A table A plus table B. That means table A data and the table B data will contain into the table C table. Okay. Consider as transactional table. Transactional table and a branch a different branch. Okay. Two transactional tables. Two. I have two branches. Two have two two branches. Each branch we have one transactional table, isn't it? For example, if you go to Walmart, wa 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 consider as Walmart. Walmart we have multiple branches, right? Consider as two branches. Consider two branches, and one transaction table. Tra transaction tra transaction table structure will be same always here and there. Branch one and branch two structure is same, and C C also structure is same, but data will combine A A and B data, right? Branch one data, branch two data. Data will be data by end of the day. We have to load the data into the table C. Just appending the data, existing data to appending the data, daily basis. Let me let me tell you one more example here. Um, branch branch tables always branch branch table transaction one transaction two uh, transaction branch one and a branch two transaction. These two tables considered as staging tables. That means once we load the data, we'll clean up the data daily basis. Actually, that those two tables, those are temporary tables, right? By end of the day, we'll load the data into one table C, and then we'll really well uh, remove the data from the, these two tables. I think uh, still you are in confusion. Can you do one thing for me, uh, Abdullah? Just practice it. Just practice it and see the differences. What is the difference? Don't combine with the joins and unions. Both are completely different. Okay. Joins is missing information. Get that get get from the other tables. But here, just combining the two result sets. That's all. Okay. One more one more example. Let me tell you. So see here, what is the data we'll get here? What data we'll get here? Abdullah, question to you only. Hello? Yes, yeah, sir. So what data we are expecting here? Uh, select like uh, my first question is what this data what data we are expecting here yeah we're gonna we're gonna have like uh, three columns employee number employee name salary and department number where like the department number equal 20. that means what we're gonna have only like uh, records of employees that they're working in department number 20. Okay, department number 20 data. We are getting, uh, we are 20, 20, 20th department data. So how many records we are having here? Five. Five records, now. Next question. So what data we are expecting here? Right, right. on the, on the. What data we are expecting here? Well, same thing like uh, employees who work in uh, department number 30. 30 number, 30th department data we are getting. We are expecting 30th department data. So here we have six records. 
and here we have five records okay now what union with does it combines together 30th and 20 see here this is what the real set clear yes sir it's clear yeah this is what just combines just i mean result set 1 and result set 2 combines to uh, combines into one result set that's all we'll do union and union alls okay and joins are completely different so don't mix joins here okay I think we can stop here. Uh, Metallurgists, metallurgists will take a little while for us to understand. Guys, practice it. Otherwise, you can you may not understand later. Okay. I have two more topics to cover. One is metallurgists, and other one is. Um, Another one is indexes. These two concepts I have to cover here in the SQL part. So far, any questions? Questions? Uh, I have one question about the sequence. Go ahead, please. Yes, like uh, for like I know the, the purpose of the views like to create a virtual tables synonyms like. To create a duplicate to to work on, but what's the, what's the purpose of sequence? Sequence is auto gen auto sequence number actually. For example, there is a transaction table. Okay, transaction table. We have transaction ID daily basis. We right? have one transaction ID, right? The transaction ID. You no need to enter daily basis actually. You don't know. For example, today we have hundred hundred uh, transactions. So we have hundred uh, transactions. One to hundred will be there, right? tomorrow you don't know why where 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 do we need to start this one transaction id right so okay. that's the reason we'll create a sequence auto sequence just will generate and um, uh, by default it will generate auto it will generate uh, by default for example it it sent set to 100 at yesterday and today we'll start with a 101 directly right okay But you are not giving you are you are um, uh, manually you will you are not going to enter the value automatically it will generate the value. I shown you right here. Uh, this is the this, this is the example I shown you guys. Where is the sequence? Yeah, here. Here I set up a default value, so I didn't I didn't enter the value. The sequence the transaction ID ID column I didn't enter automatically is generated in this table. See here. For example, again, I'm, I want to insert one more, right? So the sequence is uh, six, right? I'm going to give four. I'm not giving any any value for sequence in ID ID column. I'm not giving any value for ID columns. It's generating automatically. See here. Okay. This exact scenario: transaction ID creations and some serial numbers creation, and all those things will work here. Sequence will work. You don't need to enter the manually. Got okay. It. Okay. Anything else? Any questions? If no questions, we'll stop here. and then we'll start uh, tomorrow tomorrow we'll cover only only middle age base tomorrow okay all right sir yeah middle age and indexes we uh, these two will complete uh, sql part and then we'll go for pl sql yeah okay so, uh, yeah so we know uh, before completing sorry after completing the indexes and uh, middle age views uh, will you go over this uh, Uh, like SQL injections, de uh, normalization, denormalization. No, 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 no. First, we will finish off SQL, um, SQL, uh, SQL complete parts, and then we'll go for PL SQL. Then we'll come to hints and all those things. That is that is important. We have to look at uh, hints and all. Injection, I'm not going to cover um, uh, Ram actually. Just we'll uh, we, we can we'll come to know the basics. So that's all. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, uh, like last uh, last. Uh, last class you were mentioning that you just uh, want to go over for the interview purpose right 
yeah just for the injury purpose just a basic yeah. what what is what is the scale injection what is the mitigations we can do that's all we'll do yeah Nothing okay else. yeah sure how how it works and all those things that's all yeah scale yes, injection is nothing but right this is a uh, hackers and these guys are right simply they will uh, hack the data right how they will hack that uh, the sql injection part uh, it, to mitigate this one sql injection will come in right okay we we'll, okay. just will understand the basics only and not not uh, na, will not will not go in deep in that one actually just yes, sql injection will understand the entire purpose and nowadays no one is asking the questions on sql injections you know right okay So mainly they are focusing on external tables and all those things actually when when you go in complete pl sql then we have to concentrate on advanced the topics um, these are uh, external tables util files utilities right util util files and mm -hmm. how to file reading uh, writing into the file writing into the files with, with uh, util files and all those these these things if we cover this one maybe that you will know this one only no one is asking about uh, sql injection and all those things even they ask the question about sql injection right mm -hmm. the simple you can say yeah i will i, I will not i will not, i i am not participated in this one simply you can say this one actually okay okay oh. i didn't get chance to work on that just i know the concept of this one that's all we can cover it okay okay yeah sure thank you okay that's all for now let's connect tomorrow have a good night thank good you night. Thanks. Good night. I thought you were going to be